Hi everybody, it's Nat here from Studio Hacks, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can export a song from GarageBand and then convert it into an MP3 only using your iPhone. There was a little bit of confusion on one of my previous videos where I took a song that I exported from GarageBand and turned it into an MP3 on my Mac using a third-party converter. Now there's no easy way to export an MP3 directly from GarageBand. You can export a .m4a file, which is an Apple audio codec file, or you can do an uncompressed version like a WAV or an AIF or a Apple lossless codec. But there is a way that we can do it. There's a little bit of mucking around, but I'll show you how you can do it just using your iPhone. So first of all, um, you need to use your Files app. And you can see I've got GarageBand and Files right next to each other. If you don't have a Files app on your iPhone, you might have to update to the latest operating system. They only brought it in the last few. I'm on, on OS, uh, iOS 13. So on my iPhone here in the Files app, when I'm browsing them, um, I'm going to uh, create a folder by popping my finger down in an empty space and selecting new folder. I'm going to call it GarageBand exports and then I'm going to hit done. So now I've got a folder where I can save my file to. I'm going to open up GarageBand right here and let me have a look here. So this is GarageBand app and this is asking me um, which song I want to open basically, but I want to uh, export one of these by hitting select on the top right hand corner there, selecting the song I want to export, and then on the bottom left hand corner, the upward facing arrow. Um, it's going to ask me what I want to do. Do I want to save the project, export the project, export a ringtone, or export the song? We want to select song, and then Right here, we select the whether it's going to be a .m4a, which is the top four options, or an uncompressed file, which is the bottom three options. I'm going to select high quality. And when I hit share, it's going to ask me for some other options here. So this is a little uh, glitch um, that's been happening with a recent update. You can't simply just save it to files anymore. Um, you have to select, actually select the open in. And then it's going to export your song first. This is really annoying. When, when you save it directly to your files, it creates, uh, it creates a file, but the file is glitched out and, and it won't um, read as an audio file for some reason. So you have to select open in. I'm going to wait for this to export. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I don't think I have to pause the video. Should only take another couple of moments. And now we can select save to files. It's going to ask me where, and I'm going to see if I can find the garage band exports from the list on my iPhone. There it is. I'm going to hit save. So now I should be able to go back out to that files app and go to garage band exports. And there is my song right there. And if I click and hold on it and select info, it's telling me it's an M4A file. Okay, so now we have the file that we can turn into an MP3. For this next step, we're going to need to download an app called Documents. So let's search for Documents. And it should be one of the first ones that pops up. It's Documents by Readle. I'm going to download this. It's a free app. And um, it's very useful app for um, converting. It, it's not a con audio converter itself, um, but it allows you to make use of any of the online audio converters and then download the file to your iPhone. So I'll let that finish downloading. I'll pause the video and then I'll join back with you. Okay, I've got the Documents app downloaded now. Here it is right here. I'm going to open that up and this is a brand new install. So I'm just going to skip through all the things that they tell you and I don't want any of that. So this is the um, main first screen of documents and you've got a file browser or a web browser. 
and you can see on the bottom right hand corner it looks a little bit like Safari if you click on that it'll switch over to the web browser and then if you click on the little folder icon now that's on the bottom left hand corner you'll switch back over to the file browser so we want to use this web browser now we can utilize any of the online audio converters to convert that file to an mp3 I'm going to use one that I know works quite well called Convertio so I'm going to search for convertio.co this is an online audio converter if you know of a better one you can uh, leave it in the comments but I found this one to be quite simple to use because you, se you select choose files and I want to select browse and I'm going to look uh, for that file in the GarageBand exports and there it is I can select it there now it's uh, by default it will convert that to an mp3 and you can use that little cogwheel there to choose some of the quality settings and things like that I'm just going to use whatever the default is for the moment and I'm going to hit convert it's going to convert that m4a file to an mp3 file and then I will have the option to download so here we go I can name it before I download it if I want I can rename it and it's going to save it to the my files downloads within the documents app so I'm going to hit done and there we go it's done it occasionally I do get an ad that pops up there but this time I didn't get it now I'm going to exit out of documents and go back to the files app and then when I go to locations um, you'll notice that there is a locations under there now called documents so if I go into documents it should be under my downloads right there and there it is dark trap beat if I click on it and go info you'll see now I've got an mp3 file so if I want I can uh, click and hold on that and go copy and then I can go back and I can create another folder on my iPhone like here clicking here new folder and call it MP, mp3s or something like that just so I can differentiate them and then I can go into mp3s and then click in an empty space or tap rather and hit paste and then they just I can keep them all in, in a nice um, format that I know that they're all there in that folder and that they're all mp3s so that's how um, that's there's no real easy way that's the easiest way I found if you know a better way please pop it in the comments um, if you really need to get an mp3 from your garage band songs that is a way you can do it only using an iPhone and I apologize if I caused any confusion with the other video I think I'll rename the title to make sure that you know that you do need a, a actual uh, Mac computer to convert to an mp3 with my other method but with this method you can do it only using your iPhone thank you everybody and I'll see you in the next video